just answering questions with WAPTEC. We're going to be having part of this video be about a person's facial tattoos because he's a murderer. The other part of the video will be me listening to people complain about how I format my videos on this channel. If he had a tattoo on his face with a number, I would say it'd be more likely to be a tattoo for gangsters and uh, gang members in the Chicago area. Mainly teens, young 20-somethings, wannabes. I haven't seen it or anything else mentioned should be brought up. And the number he has on his face is 47, and he has dressed up as Agent 47 from the video game Hitman. But they may be completely unrelated. I'm stating that factually. So this is a good thing to bring in. Um, no, this doesn't sound like deflection, and it isn't really off topic. But there may be some organization or group that uses the number 47 or 74 tattooed on their face or whatever, or other part of the anatomy to you know separate themselves. I want to point out I'm a little bit annoyed by the police department several times now, not getting a good image of his tattoos so that we don't have to have this discussion of what the number is. It's a fucking number. It happens to be 47, not 74, but yeah, it's a good comment. Um, and he brought up gangster dis disciple gang because G and D are the seventh and fourth letter of the alphabet, I'm presuming. A, B, C, D, E, N, G. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do the A, B, C, D song in my head. But for some reason I can memorize carriage return codes and it depends on what your priorities are i suppose next uh, edit i put the wrong city name on accident because i was having a mind fart well it doesn't matter that's cool we'll make fun of you but thanks for the commentary so yeah it might be gang affiliation or he might have wanted to align himself with one gang or another but again what i'm seeing is and this is a segue in a minute if you're trying to sell yourself as a musician you avoid affiliations so that everybody can enjoy your music the guy was trying to become famous now he wants to be infamous. He might state after the fact he's associated with one side or another, whichever one will get him more press. <clears throat> I'm very convinced that the motive this asshole had for shooting up a 4th of July parade full of kids was because he wanted to become infamous. He knew it was a fast way to get pr press. And he should have all of his music expunged from the internet, and I'm okay with it. Warning, if you try to look up what the guy looked like so you know what we're talking about, Google is censoring every picture of him. Period. It doesn't matter if it makes any sense or anything. It's dumb. Use Bing or any other search engine that doesn't use Google as a main main data source. And it is infuriating that they're doing this. It's like, I mean, he, he did this to become famous. The news won't stop using his name. Uh, if they would, if everybody would have a policy, don't mention his name. I don't have his name on the screen, so I can't even accidentally say it. He's the asshole who shot up a parade. So anyway, next. <clears throat> uh, again, re-emphasizing, he showed a leaning or affiliation or even mentioned politics only being concerning Trump. I would say pro-Trump, but that's a flip of the coin. Again, could have been, as someone has pointed out, maybe parody. He has not given any indication he's part of any other grouping. Socialists, Nazis, whatever, uh, Antifa, it doesn't matter what you want to hear. The only thing he's ever indicated about is having at least a couple of things up on the internet affiliating with, you could say, or mentioning Donald Trump. Nothing else. Because Donald Trump was a major thing in history, maybe, or recent history. You know, it's like mention COVID-19, a horrible disease that kills people. And it, Yes, I'm making a joke there, but I don't know that he was affiliated with him or not, but he seems to show no animosity towards the Trump campaign, and he might have, and I'm assuming he probably is leaning right wing. But I don't know. He's not given any indication anywhere else. He's mostly just somebody who wanted to, again, market himself to both sides and, and every side. Scratch a little deeper with his Trump videos. They were parody, not support. You don't know that. And honestly, that's a dumb statement because you're needing, I'm sorry, but you're doing this as deflection. If he's a Trump supporter, it doesn't have anything to do with Trump. It doesn't. He was willing to murder people to become famous. Uh, death has no party affiliation. Get over it. I don't care what his party affiliation is, and I don't think it's important. And I'm going to point out something. 
Yes, it's been confirmed. The only people bringing this up were conservatives who reflexively want it to be anybody but them because they know they have a fuck ton of problems with people in their own party openly telling the leaders and the people who are boosters and, 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 and you know, uh, playing up how their side is, is so awesome. They hear on a regular basis that people are willing to murder liberals and talk about it openly. Okay, the Republican Party has a major motherfucking problem with people who are threatening to kill people and they don't want to fucking deal with it and they won't face it. Every time one of them is absolutely dead bang guilty, pun intended, of murdering people, they deflect and say they have to be Antifa. That's old. It's also really transparent. And a lot of conservatives are getting fucking tired of it too. But again, the base of politics in the world of conservatism seems to be ignoring every fucking fact, including that you may be losing your own people at this point. But no, I don't think he was really a Republican or, or a liberal or anything. I just think he was just some jerk. Jerks don't need to have a party. They just exist. <clears throat> he had a rose on him. Isn't it affiliated with the Democratic Socialists of America? No. Because... As I've mentioned, the tattoos of the guy aren't really clearly shown unless you go dig him up on Bing. It's not exclusively an image. It's an image of somebody holding a rose. The Democratic Socialist of America normally has a picture of two hands clumped together holding a rose. No. That's it. But okay, yeah, there's a variation where it's a standard hand holding a rose or gripping a rose tightly. It's not a Democratic Socialist of America symbol. And again, you want him to be a liberal. He hasn't shown any sign of this. I mean, I can't find anything. And by the way, most of the stuff he typed, not just pictures and videos, but stuff he actually typed out, you can still read. Because there's text versions of the pages that load a little bit easier and actually have more data in them. You just hit the text version of the page. Um, uh, Archive.org will let you do that. I tried archiving everything I could. It'll be there under the big list. Not that it matters. You want it to matter. You're bringing up his politics because you don't like the possibility that he might make you guys look bad. Yes, you're conservative if you care about it. Again, I'm a liberal and I'm pointing out he seems to semaphore that he's, a, that he's conservative. But again, that doesn't matter. It's a flip of a coin. And again, for the umpteenth fucking time, the majority of people who are mass murderers don't have a party affiliation. Or they wiggle back and forth. They're just libertarians. It's a joke about libertarians always been crazy. His logo was taken from pagan occult symbols. No, it's not. It's an infinite loop knot that was found to be directly associated with, even if he didn't know about it, a neo-Nazi organization and, and blah, blah. Well, no, it's actually specifically called a knot or a cross, and it's a specific one from Wales, Great Britain. It's got nothing to do with any of that shit. It, it was, it's part of a family crest. I'm not kidding. I had a Wikipedia article. I'll link it below. That's it. It has nothing to do with what you're talking about. You're just wrong. I mean, Adolf Hitler picked up a symbol from Hinduism that was for good luck and turned it into the Nazi symbol, a.k.a. the swastika. That that doesn't change the fact that it was a good luck symbol. That's why he, got, he was into a cult, too. By the way, symbology and numerology are bullshit. Stop fixating... Let's see what else this person has to say. His logo was taken, blah, blah, blah. He seemed to believe in nothing. Then he would never bother with it. He, he's just getting tattoos that look cool and getting uh, getting a logo for his channel. He wrote the word awake in, in a tattoo on his head. Uh, he had a number on his head. Uh, okay. He attempted suicide, threatened his own family members. Yeah, he's mentally unhinged and he's dangerous to himself and other people and should have been locked up. I'm sure Trump didn't tell him to these things. I mean, do these things? I don't think you get the fact that this has nothing to do with Trump. Please stop making it about Trump. Maybe he will reveal his motive and we will know for sure soon. The only thing this kid was doing is clout chasing. Everybody's figured out that he did this so he could become famous. About a year ago or a more... Oh, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, almost a year ago, 10 months... Approximately, he stopped posting right after his dad lost an election, who may or may not have been a Republican. People are just like, no, he has to be a Democrat. You don't have that data. You can look him up. I think he was a Republican. But again, I think. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But about the time his dad lost 
uh, an election campaign to be mayor, he stopped posting. Well, he was posting a week before. Yeah, he was doing a bunch of stuff before, but he wasn't doing anything that was about his public image. He was on the down low doing this shit, and people discovered it because he had his own uh, Discord server and stuff like that. And again, all of it's being erased because everybody's erasing all the evidence. So fucking convenient. Anyway, I've got archives below. Please ignore them while you type out that he, it's not about Trump. Then stop making it about Trump, and we won't think that you're reflexively needing to defend this bullshit. Now we're going to get to the critical analysis of WAPTEC. Get a better, better not as creepy face cam bro. The sentence has no punctuation. Let's have fun with it. Get a better, not as creepy face cam bro. Get a better, not as creepy face cam bro. Is he saying I should get another face? Now somebody posted this right underneath it. Someone posted this. I'm actually going to archive your, your posting, your statement. Because it's funny, I'm making fun of it. So this person's criticizing me, making that joke about this statement about me needing to have a less creepy face cam bro, or less creepy face cam bro. It's funnier the way I did it. How do Americans speak in proper English like this? At least we can understand. So you're criticizing Americans in proper English but you left a, at least we can understand, lull. I have concerns. So thank you for critiquing Americans and accidentally not finishing or doing. I speak gooder than you. Okay, I'm just making fun of you, but it's funny. Um, anyway, uh, as for the, the, that's literally the only critique I'm getting is people are noticing that I have a black background. The room is a matte white room. Okay. We're going to do the white room challenge. I'm not going to do the white room challenge. Get a room that's completely white and light it and then do a video and see how much it wiggle, 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 like that while you're video recording. It's very, very, very distracting. When you record a video in high or low resolution, the algorithm on YouTube will compress it. And it creates gradations. And it wants to make the fewest gradations possible for a white wall. And instead of just making it a white wall, which would look green screened, it already is at that point, by the way, it will just go ahead and make a bunch of floaty gradient lines that just absolutely drive me crazy. In a black room like this, if you take the images, you have to download it and tell it to upscale it so it'll create even more noise. Um, you might be able to see something behind me like a clock face or something like that at one point in some of my videos. There's actually picture frames behind me. True story. But you can't see them and it doesn't make wiggle waggle lines. Grayscaling stops working if you get it below a certain black level. True. And there's something called blacker than black where if you make it lower than a certain brightness level and you adjust your camera, everything goes matte black and it then only has to do that jitterbugging bullshit around your face. So I have an egg-shaped head. I can even do this thing with the thing so I have a floaty head. I even made fun of it in one of my videos where I made myself into a bowling pin. Three of them. So your complaints about my creepy face cam, bro. Creepy face cam video. Um, this is so that it was forced not to make an annoying video. Uh, originally when I had videos in a white room, people said, dude, the fluttering of the white, blah, 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 and they're like, that was on another channel. It's gone now. But people commented, wow, it's bad. And I looked at it. It was really, really distracting. Uh, people were having more fun pausing the video at one point or another and seeing what the hell was going on. Because YouTube crapped out its uh, compression algorithm. This doesn't crap out as much. In fact, it makes the file so small, it can't bitch about the size of it. So I can get away with doing 15-minute videos and not take up a lot of space on my hard drive. So anyway, that's about it. Anyway, um, he did have tattoos on his face. They had some meaning. We don't know what they are. We can guess at them. But the numbers and data are there. And another person not liking me associating with Trump, he did that, not me. And there isn't any association with the left anybody's been able to find. I'm sure one will come up. But stop deflecting. It, it makes you look bad. It's like screaming, I, 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 I'm not a, well, I can't even say it. We're, we know. We know what you are. Seriously, don't be reactionary like this. It makes you look bad. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.
Trump never did no drugs.